Thomas Strother. Kevin Jones. And today we're going to teach y'all about free fall objects. In physics, free fall is the one dimensional motion of any object under the influence of gravity. In order for us to solve free fall objects, we will use kinematic equations here. Wilson. And I'm Kevin Jones. And for our first demonstration, we're going to calculate the height and the time it takes the paper to fall down the balcony. In this problem, we're solving for the paper velocity of the equation. We're using the fourth kinematic equation. We're given the height, which is negative 22 meters, x minus 0 meters, and initial velocity is 0 meters, and acceleration will be negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So first, we're going to cancel out the zeros first, which is v naught, and also it's going to be x. And then once we cancel the zeros out, we have remaining negative. 4.9 meters per second squared times negative 22 meters. And once we found that, it'll be V squared equals 107.8. And then we're going to square root the V. To, to find V, we're going to square root 107.8, and then we'll get the velocity of 10.38 meters per second of paper. So basically, we use the second kinematic equation to find the time of the paper. And this time for the paper, we dropped it from a uh, a higher distance, which was 22 meters, and the same, uh, the x9 and the v9 was still the same, and the acceleration was also the same. So basically, we just plug 22 in, cancel out x9 and v9 because they both zeros, multiply uh, the acceleration by a half, which would gave us negative 4.9, then divided 22 by negative 4.9, and then square rooted negative 4.48, which we got from dividing these two and we ended up with 2.11 for the time. Now, for our second experiment, we're gonna calculate how long it takes this paper and this bottle to hit the ground. For our second demonstration, we're going to calculate the speed of the paper and the water bottle at two different heights. This time we find the velocity of the bottle using this kinematic equation. The height is negative 15 like the first time. X naught, zero. V naught, zero. And the acceleration is negative 9.8. Then in the equation, we're going to cancel out our zeros, which is V naught and X. And we're going to 
multiply two times negative 9.8 meters per square, which is negative 4.9 meters square per square, and negative 15. Then we'll get 73.5, and we're going to square root V, which is 8.57 meters squared. Now we're going to plug our numbers into the second equation. We're going to zero out x naught and v naught plus one half a t squared, and this will all equal to negative 15 meters. Then negative 15 meters equals to one half of negative 9.8 meters squared t squared. Negative 15 meters equals to negative 4.9 meters squared t squared. Then we're going to divide negative 15 meters and negative 4.9 meters squared. This will equal to t squared. In order to get t by itself, we're going to square root the answer we get here, the square root of 3.06, and this will help us get the seconds, 1.74. All right, go ahead. All right, you guys, for the conclusion, we have figured out that the water bottle had the fastest speed of hitting the ground in the lowest time, even though they were, even though the water bottle was at 15 meters and the paper was at 22 meters. And that's going to conclude our physics project. Thank you guys for watching.